Hey guys, what's up? I'm Just. I'm here with Richard. And guys, what is wrong with the Boston Red Sox right now? What is their pitching staff going through right now? They're going through hard times. And we're here to break it down for you. But before we get to the video, Richard, my good friend, what is going on? Oh, much. Uh, yeah, I really am in uh, wanting to talk about this rotation. So, let's talk about this rotation. You got John Lester, John Lackey. And then you got your uh, Buckholtz, Beckett, and guys like et cetera, et cetera, Clay Buckholtz. I don't really like this team. Being a Yankee fan, I have to give, and being an MLB reporter, I have to give the uh, full respect to the Boston Red Sox. So, let's start off with John La uh, John Lester. I almost said John Lackey. Um, let's start off with John Lester. Richard, what? how well is this guy producing for the Red Sox? Uh, well... He's still winless. He, he actually, I think, he just got the loss tonight in a 3-2 loss to the Rays. Um, he's still winless. Uh, he, like I said earlier, he's still he's my Cy Young. Uh, I correct him to win the Cy Young, and I'm sticking to that. I think this guy is great. Uh, he's probably the one, maybe the second exception to this awful rotation. Um, I, he, he's 0-0 uh, with a 3.65 ERA. Um, I like him a lot. I think he's their ace for many years, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, John Lester. This guy is carrying this pitching rotation on his back, on its back in the pitching rotation. It used to be John Josh Beckett, and now with John Lester, uh, I think he battled cancer. Like we've been reporting a whole lot, um, came back and started like dominating baseball. So. I have to agree with you. This guy is just playing phenomenal ball. He picked up a loss. He still has not picked up a win yet. When do you think John will actually pick up a win? Um, I think it'll be his next start. I mean, it's. I mean, he's not. I mean, he's not like a winless by any means for a while. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. Let me look real quick here. Um, and who the Red Sox are playing next. Um, just give me a moment here so I can uh, determine if he actually will win his start. Uh, I'll play the Blue Jays next. Uh, yeah, I can see him being a Blue Jays. Uh, I mean, they're, they're a home run hitting team, but I think I think the West will do fine with the Blue Jays. I think he'll get his own win his next start. Yeah, I mean, not being a Boston Red Sox fan, John Lester has a lot of heart and soul in this team and this pitching rotation. This guy's carrying it on his back, and I really, really want to see this guy start winning games. So I don't want to keep on bashing on this Red Sox squad. So I think John Lester should be back on a winning edge soon. Going on to their number two pitcher, John Lackey. Um, this guy has just been terrible. I don't know, I don't want to say it since day one. I haven't really seen him actually pitch for the Red Sox ever since the Angels did not want to resign him being an Angels fan. I was really pissed off when this guy left that the Angels didn't really want to resign him. Richard, how well is John Lackey doing this season? Doing awful. Uh, <laughs> nothing, there's no, there's no way to describe it. He's one one with a, with a brace yourself. A 15.58 ERA. He's given up 15 runs and eight and two thirds innings pitched. He's looking awful. He's worse than Dice K, and that's saying a lot. Yeah. Um. I wish he was still on the Angels right now. Then this is just terrible on what we're like looking at this Boston Red Sox. If you're a Red Sox fan, brace yourself. But I think that John Lackey should be either down in AAA right now trying to reboot, that's just my opinion, or he could possibly be gone at the deadline, that's just probably just my opinion, if uh, John Lackey does not turn it around, he could turn it around and really impress some eyebrows, because it's still, what, the 11th game in the season, I think, right now, and right. there's still time to reboot, there's 163 or 67 games, I don't know at the top of my head, because I'm like really passed out right now, I'm really tired. 162. Yeah, whatever. So I'm just like, this time there's still time to reboot. Uh, you gotta recharge your batteries and just continue and just pitch. But Richard, 
Will John Lackey better? Will John Lackey come back and win at least five, uh, eleven games this season? Just throwing something out there. Yeah, I definitely can see eleven. I mean, it's obviously a horrendous start, but I mean, you showed a groove. I hope, you know, unless there's no way you can keep a 15 yard rate all year. And if so, uh, the Red Sox blew a whole ton of money um, after they, in the recent uh, 2010, obviously, you signed up for a five year, $82.5 million deal. Um, I can see a lot of games easy. I can even see probably 13, 14. It's just also a bad start. I don't really like I I know you like John Lackey a lot, but I just see him I don't see him anything more than an average pitcher. Yeah. So I still think John Lackey can bounce back. I mean it's only the eleventh or twelfth game of the season for teams. Um John Lackey will come back and I hope this Red Sox I hope hopefully uh being a reporter I gotta give him the props. Hopefully the Red Sox can bounce back and John Lackey continue his dominance like he left off with the Angels. On to number three starter, we got Josh Beckett. This guy has been the starter for what? For the opening day starter for like, what, two or three years straight? Then John Lester came back into the picture. Um, he just came off a great start against the Yankees. Um, how well is Josh Beckett doing right now, Richard? Well, actually, it's Buck Holzer's third in the rotation, Beckett's fourth. But, anyways, um, you know, Beckett's Beckett. Uh, he's either good or awful. Um, I don't think he's an ace anymore. You know, I think he's the horse that everybody thinks he is. You know, I I can see him winning maybe 11 to 12 games, having a, a four plus ERA. He's just not the Florida Marlins John uh, Josh Beckett that we saw in 2003 World Series. Uh, I, I I don't think I don't expect him to have another Cy Young caliber season. So you say he won't be won a Cy Young again in his career? Like, if they really won one. No. So, what does Josh Beckett really need to do in order to keep a good season back? Have a have a, have, have to help out this Red Sox team. I he just needs to get out. Just watching him, isn't he? He needs to work on his curveball. When he, when he beat the Yankees the other night in eight innings, his curveball was really working for him. And that's, that's nice to see. Uh... You know, when he gets that curveball working, he's doing work, and, um, yeah, he just needs to be able to mix up his pitches more. He also needs to, it looks like he just needs some confidence, but I definitely think it comes down to that curveball. I mean, is that working? He's doing, he's, he does a lot better, uh, but, yeah. So, there you go. We're going on to our number three pitcher. Clay Buckholtz on uh, an Arlo account or whatever from best to least, best to worst. Richard, how well is Buckholtz doing before we start off with any talks? Uh, Buckholtz is doing good. Uh, he's, I think he's, uh, he just signed a, he just signed a, um, a four-year, $29.945 million deal. We made a video on that. Um, he's a great pitcher. He's just struggling this season so far. It's only two to seven point two O ERA. That's not good either. Um, I think he'll bounce back. I, I don't like black holes. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't have any negative to say about him. Um, I think he's. I think he's a good pitcher. I think he'll bounce back. Uh, I think he'll bounce back too. I mean. Not being a Boston fan, I still think Clay Buckholz is a good pitcher. But I still think, yeah, he'll bounce back this season. Just, just it just takes time for Buckholz to actually find something really good coming his way. So I think that Buckholz will bounce back. Going on to the last pitcher in their rotation, Daisuke Matsuzaka. Richard, how I don't want to say how terrible he's doing, but how bad of a struggle is this guy going? For? Uh, well, uh, he, he, in his most recent outing, which was uh, last night, he played, he was again, he uh, pitched against the Rays, uh, two innings, seven earned runs. Uh, you know, enough is enough with Dice K. Uh, he's, he's almost untradeable now. I just think the Red Sox need to give him a kick in the butt and, uh, you know, take a couple of stars away from him or something. Toss him, send him, send him to him. Because uh, I believe that they have a guy in their system, Felix Dubron, who can replace him just as well as 
you know, anybody. Even Tim Wakefield. Um, I don't know. Matt was out there. I think that the Red Sox really need to cut ties with this guy soon. Yeah. Uh, I, he used to be somewhat decent. I never really, I don't watch Boston games unless it's against the Yankees. And if I'm lucky, I can see Dice Cave pitch for the Red Sox. Um, possibly when, ever since he pitched, I've probably seen him pitch maybe six or seven times. But I wouldn't really give him a crap whenever Boston's pitching. I just want to see the Yankees hit and pitch. Um, I think Dice Cave, I think the uh, Red Sox are really just like part ways with this guy. I mean, this guy is pretty much untradeable. Do you think that the Red Sox will send this guy on an assignment soon? Uh, wow, that's that's pretty drastic. But I, I mean, I don't rule it out. He's uh, obviously struggling quite a bit. Um, I wouldn't, it wouldn't shy me if they DFA him. But I mean, with that contract, I think that the Red, the Red Sox could afford to eat it, uh, the ten million. But uh, I mean, it's a possibility, but it's might it probably won't happen. So, there you guys have it right now. Um, but, Richard, going back to the subject, what pitcher would you think will have the most bounce, will have will be a better, who will lead this team in wins, is what I'm trying to say. My side, I don't think John Leslie, I believe he's definitely capable of 20 wins. I don't think he'll get 20 wins. But I think that, uh, I think that he's definitely going to lead this team in wins. Um, I, uh, I think, I, uh, if I recall in the video, I think I said 19-8, So I, I think John Lester's is great. It's just a matter of, because, uh, you know, he needs some offense behind him, too, to get some wins. The uh, Red Sox are just having been playing up runs. Yeah. Um, going back to the talk on Dice K, you said that there are a lot of guys to replace Dice K, and that is really true. I think if Dice K was to be maybe put in the bullpen, just to maybe bring down that that ter that terrible start to the season and just try to work through like higher innings. I think that the best starter for the Red Sox to replace this guy has got to be veteran Tim Wakefield. Tim Wakefield, I think this guy used to be like I used to be a closer or just a setup guy. I don't really know much about Red Sox baseball. I never never liked them. So, Tim uh, Richard, do you think? that Tim Wakefield is going to be the favorite if they were to put Daisuke in the bullpen? Um, yeah, like, I, think, I think Tim Wakefield could be a solid replacement. Um, I like Tim Wakefield a lot better than Daisuke. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, the Red Sox pretty much need to be looking for some other options. Yeah, I mean, they have, I don't know who's their key pitching pitcher, in their minor league system, a key pitching prospect in that minor league system, but we just have to wait and see. I mean, will the Red Sox bounce back with the terrible start? I think it could possibly be, or maybe, maybe not, depending on who will they face and how dominant will that team will be. So there you guys have it. Will the Red Sox bounce back with this pitching rotation? Will they add somebody at this line at the deadline, which is a few months from now? Um, we'll keep you posted, so uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Will the Red Sox uh, return to the playoffs? We'll keep, keep us posted. Let, me, let us know what your opinion is. Talk to you guys later.